Hello and welcome to my Season 11 Teemo Guide. In this video you'll learn everything you need to know to be able to play Teemo in your ranked games. So let's get into it. Let's start out by talking about Teemo's abilities. Teemo's passive Guerrilla Warfare is an ability that gives you a stealth when you're standing still for one and a half second. And if you're in a bush you can even walk while being a stealth. If you move you lose the stealth. When you have the stealth you also gain a lot of attack speed depending on your level up to 80%. So it's really really valuable especially at higher levels. Something you want to use a lot, especially in bushes, because you can move around, you can dust things. If you get ganked, maybe you can hide for a long time and waste a lot of enemy time, which means they can't be anywhere else in the map. It's very beneficial. Second up, we have Teemo's Q, Blinding Dart. Use an opponent and they can't auto attack you for 1.5 to 2.5 seconds. Extremely valuable, extremely high damage, and also it's really, really good to combo with your auto attack. So you can auto attack Q and then you can auto attack again. Works really well with Electrocute and so on. Overall, a strong ability. Second up, we have Move Quick W. It's not that important of ability. You can scale once only until late game. Um, it gives you a little bit of movement speed as passive. You actually get double that movement speed, but it's a very, very tiny amount. It's going to be 10% at the first level, which is what you're generally going to be using. Now, it is going to be really strong late game, but overall, it gives you a little bit of movement speed, and that's about it. One small thing to notice, if you do get hit, you do lose the movement speed for 5 seconds, so you have to be out of combat to utilize it, unless you activate it. Next up, we have Teemo's E ability, Toxic Shot. It does a little bit of extra damage in your auto attack, so every time you auto attack, you poison the enemies and you deal a bonus magic damage. It's just extra damage, it's nice to have, it's the first thing you're gonna skill. Overall strong, nothing much to know about this one, just more damage. Last but not least, we have Noxious Trap, Teemo's Mushrooms. Honestly, this is the bread and butter of Teemo, everybody knows Teemo because of his mushrooms. Super strong, but you need to learn how to use them. Try to use them close to walls and so on, but not exactly on the wall, but a little bit out, because then champions can't walk past them and you cover more space. Also, minions are less likely to walk into them. So you want to put them very, very strategically close to walls, because that's how you generally hit the most enemies. Right now, let's cover team of skill order. So you're going to level E first, then you go Q, then third, you can go W or E again, and then you'll go W fourth if you go E. After that, you max E first into Q into W. So basically W last as we talked about. And then that's all you need to know about the skill law. All right, now let's get into something exciting. We're going to talk about the runes. So on Teemo, what you want to have is two different rune pages. The first one is going to be if you're auto attacking a lot and if you're fighting a lot, like basically you can prog it. So it's going to be electrocute. Then you go for cheap shot or taste of blood. I don't go cheap shot because it's more damage. Then you go Eyeball Collection, because it works really well for you, because you want as much AP as possible. And last, you go Ravenous Hunter. You're going to be healing a lot. And then in the second tree, you'll be going for Bone Plating and Overgrowth or Demolish. All right, now let's talk about the other rune page that you're going to be using. The other rune page that you'll be using is in Sorcery. You'll go Summoner Aries. Then you go Mana Flow Band. You like to have mana. Teemo is very mana hungry. Then you go Transcendence, because Cooldown is really good. It's the Ability Haste. Super nice on him. And last, you go Scorch. Then the second tree, you will opt in for Domination again, where you go Cheap Shot, and you go Ravenous Hunter, because those two are really important. That's the two rune pages you generally want to go on Teemo. Then in the small runes, you want to always have Attack Speed, AD, or Adaptive Force, and then last, you go Armor or Matrixes, depending on what you need. Both are completely fine there. All right, let's talk about the items, because items on Teemo are very, very unique. So first and foremost, you want to decide on the Mythic item. Mythic items, you have two options, Leandris, Angris, or Rift Maker. Both of these two items are amazing. You want to go Leandris if you don't really need the healing from Riftmaker and if you want mana. Generally, Riftmaker is better in my opinion. You want to have the healing and it's stronger. But Leandris will be stronger straight up. So you have to decide what you kind of want. If you don't know what you want, just go Riftmaker because it's always good. Then now let's get into the second item. The second item is also very unique. So if you're against champions that you can hit all the time, you want to go for Nash's Tooth. It's the highest damage you can get. However, sometimes you're against champions that you can't really hit that often. Let's say they have Malphite, they have Victor, they have a lot of champs that are hard to hit for you. In that case, you want to go Demotic Embrace because it gives you the most damage because you can't get that many hits in, so your shrooms are going to be stronger and your auto attacks are going to be stronger because you're not going to be attacking that much. And it also makes you a little bit tankier. Then after choosing your second item, you have to choose the third one, which is generally going to be either Morello Nomicon or a White Staff, depending on what you want. Morello Nomicon is obviously against people that have a lot of healing, they have Renekton, Aatrox, and so on. You want to have Morella Nomicons because it's super strong against those. Um, otherwise, you want to go for Void Staff because it's magic penetration. Gives you a ton of damage. Generally, a lot of people are going to have magic resist right now. Especially now with the new Sunfire Aegis. Tanks are going to have a lot more maxes than usual. So Void Staff is really, really beneficial nowadays. Also, sometimes you can end up in a situation where you want to have Nash's Tooth and Demotic Embrace. You want to have both of those two. 
That's more of a rare case, uh, but it does happen. That case would mostly be if the enemy have a lot of health, but they don't have so much magic resist, right? Because then you don't need the white staff and you actually get more damage out of demonic in face. Plus you're a little bit tanky in that case. And then the last AP item you finish up your team build with is always going to be Rabadons. Some people will go Sonyas, but honestly you don't need a Sonyas. If you do get caught and you need to use the Sonyas, then you're already playing wrong and you shouldn't be good defensive items. Get as much damage as possible. The only defensive items you should be getting is health based. So get Rabadons and finish up your build and do tons of damage and have fun on the rift. Now that's it for this teamer guide. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.